Hello, myself, Dr. Kavita Sharkar, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Swami Vivekananda Institute of Science and Technology, Kolkata 145. In the last lecture, I have discussed Poisson distribution, PMF and properties, mean and variance. In this lecture, I am going to discuss on Poisson distribution long questions answers, binomial approximation to Poisson distribution. Here is a question. A car hire farm has two cars which it hires out day by day. If the number of demands for a car on each day follows Poisson distribution with parameter 1.5, then find the proportion of days on which neither car is used and the proportion of days on which some demand is refused. This question has appeared in Macau semester exam several years. Let us take x as the random variable denoting the number of demands for a car on any day. And x follows Poisson distribution. The parameter alpha is given as 1.5. Now the first question is that the proportion of days on which neither car is used, that means the demand is 0. And the second question is the proportion of days on which some demand is refused. That means the demand is greater than 2. So we have to find for x equals to 0 and for x greater than 2. We know the PMF of Poisson distribution as probability at x equals to k is e power minus alpha alpha power k divided by factorial k. And we know what is alpha. Let us put that. And k is 0, 1, 2. So according to the first question, let us put k as 0 and put in the PMF of Poisson distribution, get the result. According to second question, we have to find for x greater than 2. Look here in the number line. This is x equals to 2, right hand side is x greater than 2, left hand side is x less equals to 2. The total probability is 1. So probability of x greater than 2 is 1 minus probability of x less equals to 2. And probability of x less equals to 2 is probability at x equals to 0 plus probability at x equals to 1 plus probability at x equals to 2. Now let us apply the values of k and alpha in the Poisson distribution PMF and calculate it to get the result. Next question is there are 500 misprints in a book of 500 pages. What is the probability that a given page will contain at most 3 misprints? This question has appeared in Markout semester exam 2007. There are total 500 pages and total misprints are 500. So we can find the average number of misprints in a page that is 500 by 500 which is 1 therefore alpha is 1. Now the question is what is the probability that a given page will contain at most 3 misprints? So at most means x less equals to 3. So probability at x less equals to 3 is probability at x equals to 0 plus probability at x equals to 1 plus probability at x equals to 2 plus probability at x equals to 3. Now let us apply the PMF. Here alpha is 1 and the values of k are 0, 1, 2, 3. Calculate it and get the result. Binomial approximation to Poisson distribution. Let us take the PMF of binomial distribution. Probability at x equals to r is ncr p power r q power n minus r where r equals to 0, 1, 2 up to n. n and p are parameters. If n tends to infinity that means n is very large and p 
p tends to 0. That means p is very small comparative to n such that np equals to alpha. That means the mean of binomial distribution is equal to the mean of Gaussian distribution. Then limit n tends to infinity n c r p power r q power n minus r equals to e power minus alpha alpha power r by factorial r for a fixed r. Now look in the left hand side. This is the PMF of binomial distribution. If we take the limit on this PMF of binomial distribution, we will get the PMF of Gaussian distribution. So for large n, the PMF of binomial distribution converts to the PMF of Gaussian distribution. Next question, 6 coins are tossed 6400 times. Using the Poisson distribution, find the approximate probability of getting 6 heads 8 times. So here n is given as 6400 and p is given as getting the head 6 times. So half power 6 that is 1 by 64. Now look, comparative to the number n, p is very small. Now alpha is np and that is 100. So let us apply the binomial approximation to portion distribution. So we will get p at x equals to 8 as nc8 p power 8 q power n minus z which is equals to the pmf of Gaussian distribution and you put value of alpha and value of k. k is 8 and alpha is 100. Get the result. Next question, if the chance of being killed by flood during a year is 1 by 3000, use Gaussian distribution to calculate probability that out of 3,000 persons living in a village, at least one will die in flood in a year. This question has appeared mark out semester exam in 2009. Here, n is given as 3,000 and p is given as 1 by 3,000. So look that p is very small comparative to n and alpha is np that is 1. Now you can apply the portion distribution PMF and get the result. Do it yourself. Next lecture on continuous distribution, PMF and properties, mean and variance. For admission and course related enquiry, please visit college website http colon slash slash slash